Hey guys, you're watching Explore the Weird. If you're into creepy and weird, YouTube says you are, so you gotta join the Ganja Goons gang. And the only way you can do that is by hitting that subscribe and smoking that like button. Let's get right into it. Wait, wait, wait. Every time I keep recording, the subscriber count keeps getting crazier and crazier. Um, yesterday it was like, hey, thanks for 300 subs. Day before, thanks for 200 subs. At the time of recording this, I may be breaking 400 subs, um, uh, hopefully. So let me know in the comments down below what sub count did you sub up. And let's see. Let's see what happens as we keep growing the Goon Gang, guys. All right, let's get into it. Celebrities glitching. Part one. Reptilian. That's really creepy. Make even more noise for my band. Oh, that was something else here. Um, but it's been it's been a it's been a heck of a ride, to be honest. Um, I really can't complain. He is literally uh, frozen. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I was a little down that I, I found out I was injured and I had surgery again, or you know, you know, another knee. But at the end of the day, you know, I have I have amazing teammates. You know, guys. Just watch. That's exactly how you have to have a certain amount of distance between yes, the bodies. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes, like they say in Catholic school, leave room for the Holy Ghost. <laughs> anyway, there is a lot of uh, uh, memories today. Actually, it's a big day in music history. Thirty-five years ago today, Elvis Presley passed away. The king of rock and roll and his. Why are those guys just frozen? That is so weird. And with Katy Perry, did she know? Is she, was she playing into that role? Like, it was just so weird. It was just so... The whole eye thing, it's like, oh, she did it so well, too. It's like, even for me to wink my eye like that, it's like, it just felt so natural. To, or, like, unnatural. Oh, my God. But reptilian, I don't know. But, like, robotic eye, potentially, or something? Like, glass eye? Maybe? Maybe? The darkest conspiracies in the world. There are approximately 1,500 newspapers, 1,100 magazines, 9,000 radio stations, 1,500 TV stations and 2,400 publishers. All owned by only six corporations. GE, News Corp, Disney, Viacom, Time Warner and CBS. Is there a conspiracy here to control everything from what we hear, see and know? Or is this simply just a conspiracy? Check my YouTube link in my bio for more videos like this one. I did not know that, but if that is real, then obviously, obviously, there is no conspiracy there. Those six corporations can, if they, you know, hey, Big Boss says this is the thing that you gotta say now. All these corporations could be saying the same thing. And I think we have reviewed videos before where newscasters were just repeating the same scripture over and over again because it's just another job to them. They're just reading what's on the prompt. There's nothing special here. They're not real newscasters. Hey, let me dig up, go on scene, then figure out what's going on, come back to the news station, tell you guys what's going on. No, they just read a prompt and they fill you in every day. You know, I watch Philip DeFranco. That's how I get filled in, <laughs> but... Uh, regardless, I also, I also watch a lot of crazy things. I'm also, regardless, this is quite, this is quite interesting, um, concept that all the news guys are basically owned by six people. It's, it's so, it's, uh, what, what can we do? How are we supposed to get a real news? I'm gonna just trust my boy Trump. He's gonna know. He's gonna, he, he knows the fake news. I love it. I love it. I literally, it, it, it just tells you how much harder it's going to be finding real news if this is, if this is in fact true. And if this is in fact how the corporations operate, it's just so sad. It's just so sad. I hope there's something, there's an independent news uh, that breaks this uh, barrier of restrictions between these uh, six corporations and we get the actual um unbiased news but you know that's that's a peaceful world i don't think that's that's wishful thinking i don't think that will ever happen we're just gonna continue to hope <laughs> i mean i don't see a camera in there do you want to look at it i'm gonna go up there and film it from that height go ahead oh what's up there yeah it looks like someone just like 
It's maybe. cross. It's, different. it's not appropriate. You know, like, you know, like if you were clean and shower every few times. Come on, man. I mean, most people don't look up when they clean stuff. If I'm being honest with you. Uh, okay. That's why we film shit. Tell me that again. Your answer was, he, oh, it's, it's on there. It's on there. So, thank you. Did you say anything? No, uh, I'll, I'll show you something else in there, which program so you can see this. Because you can't, you can't walk out of this. You can't walk out of this. We're not, we're not worried about people looking through here. No? I mean, that is a whole, whole lot of weirdness. I mean, how would this hole get made from the inside when it's poking downward? I mean, that's a... This is what happens whenever I put her near my daughter's old cabbage patch talk. But that's not the weirdest part. There's no batteries. But wait, there's more. No, I'm, I'm a big fan of creepy dolls. I got a creepy doll myself. I got the Annabelle doll, the actual Annabelle from the Conjuring doll, um, the official one. And I, and I had it as a Halloween decoration. My daughter walks around with that. It's just like, it's, this is the best toy. She doesn't think of it as like a freaky doll. She just looks at it like a play toy. Um, and we just had our Halloween decorations out. So she has no idea. But um, the unfortunate thing is that definitely is a hole. And that hole appears to be above a shower. And this is just so scum of the earth type people. And I'm just not for this. Like whoever the person is. And uh, uh, no hate towards the officers either. You know, he doesn't know. He doesn't see a camera. The questions that he's being asked are a little bit different than what this lady's uh, implying. But I don't know the whole situation. But what is factual is, one, if there are people up there or taking videos of individuals in the shower that is truly scum of the earth type people. And I, I want nothing. I don't promote that type of stuff. Um, and it's just so sad. This is definitely terrifying and definitely strange and super weird that someone is doing this. This is not behavior that we should uh, continue to do or, or even promote. Is that a tornado or just some aliens doing creepy things? That is crazy. Look at the snow stuck up on the bottom of it. It's hard to beat the library. Right? Especially when you have to keep your eye on that one. I've never seen before. Yeah, I really like the sleep with horror guys, man. All his videos are their videos are doing um definitely give me the creeps and this feels very authentic. I could totally see this uh being a real deal. A tornado that that came down but why in, only on that mountain why is it like that you know it, it also is very questionable as well but i i definitely can see it you know what do you guys think you believe this is this a just a natural event or is that some alien stuff what's going on here what's going on here <laughs> by the way did you smoke that like button i need you to smoke that like button how are you gonna follow along if you don't smoke that lick button. Scariest things found in the woods, PT.5.
Bro, I am I am not a fan of state parks. I'm a, I've seen so many missing 411 things that I'm just like, there is so much crazy stuff happening out there. And it looks like this was a campsite, but still, there was a family trip. Even if you go as a family, getting unalived as an entire family is the saddest thing that can ever happen. You know, I really hope um, things get better. They find out who's done it but when it comes to true crime and i love true crime but i gotta figure out it's hard to react to true crime though they're just so sad um the story is just like the robinson family here and it's sad how they were even found out they were just in the cabin for a month uh deceased and um uh you know it's just very sad to read stories like this and you can only hope that uh uh person is found and uh, we find out the answer but that answer may never come we're talking 50 years later though there has been instances we have found uh, answers 50 years later and that's all we can hope for all right let's see this is the deepest man-made hole on earth but when they reached the bottom of the hole they heard something very terrifying this project was located in russia and after drilling for 19 years they sent a microphone down the hole and this is what they heard what's up your mother <laughs> you got me again damn you got me good but in reality i had heard some crazy things like this that there's some really deep hole and when they put the microphone down there they could hear on the other side what sounded like human screaming aka h-e-l-l um so yeah i don't know but this one definitely was not that but yeah, i wish i could find that one Something scary has just leaked. You guys remember the missing flight MH370. Nobody knew where the plane had vanished to. But this footage has just been found on a satellite imagery of what supposedly is the plane. And this gets crazy. There seems to be an object that starts to follow and circle the plane. But then not only that, there's a second that comes and does the same exact thing following along the first object. At this point, I know everybody on board was probably freaking out, cause I would be. I'd probably have an accident on myself. Then a third object comes and does the same exact thing. They start swirling in sync with each other, and this all goes on for quite some time. The satellite camera kind of loses track a bit, but then when it gets back on track, the objects have still not left the plane. Now, at first I'm thinking it's a planned attack, kind of sort of how sharks circle around a school of fish when they're about to hunt. I'm thinking they're about to attack the plane. By circling, it can better understand the prey's movements and potential weaknesses and determine the best attack point. But all of a sudden, the plane disappears out of thin air. Now, my question to you guys is, is this real or fake? Because I've seen nobody debunk this video yet, and it's going all around social media. That is definitely not real. I feel like I've seen MH370 uh, satellite footage before, and this one did not appear any better. It definitely was obvious, like, those things circling them just could not happen when the plane just disappeared alongside all the other three flying objects. I just could not believe it. Um, can't remember if I actually reviewed this one or not, but definitely an interesting footage uh, that this guy is reacting to. Do y'all remember the story about Malaysian Airlines MH370 going missing? Well, if not, then I got a treat for y'all. Let's get it. On March 8th of 2014, the Malaysian Airlines plane MH370 was heading from Kuala Lumpur International Airport to its planned destination of Beijing Capital International Airport. Between the departure between Kuala Lumpur Airport and the Beijing Capital International Airport, what could have happened? There's always been a few theories circling this, and I got two of them. It all literally could have just been a freak accident. Got lost on the way, bad weather, errors within the plane. It's in speculation that something else could have happened. If you're traveling across the Indian Ocean, you will come across an island, a military island, by the name of Diego Garcia, at the size of just 14 kilometers. Well, what does that have to do with the MH370? Alright, let me tell ya. Just 10 days later, after the Malaysian Airlines and MH370 were finally pronounced missing, a photo in an anonymous email spawns out of nowhere from someone that works at IBM named Philip Wood. And this email alone sent the whole internet into a frenzy. It took no time for the people to go to work. Once the image was discovered, it was pinpointed that the location that the image was captured at was Diego Garcia Island. Some people believe like similar islands that we've seen before, the same thing could have happened with Diego Garcia Island. 
and also that it could be a lot more underneath the scene and the surface than what appears to the eye. A lot of people believe that the MH370 was hijacked by military personnel and then taken to the base of Diego Garcia in which all the passengers on board were taken underground and then tortured. These are the other conspiracies surrounding the MH370 and the Malaysian Airlines flight that went missing. And while none of us truly ever know the truth, all we can do is assume, but just know nothing is what it seems like. And whatever they saying the truth is, that damn sure ain't the truth, because we never get the truth. But y'all go ahead and let me know what y'all think in the comments about the Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 going missing. And then the sudden explosion 10 days later, 11 days later, after Philip Woods' photo hit the surface. This topic just always makes me wonder. MH370. I, I don't know how we got back-to-back -back MH370s, but this has happened before. Um, one of the crazy things is the previous video shows a potential footage of three uh, aircrafts, uh, you know, um, rotating around an aircraft. And this guy's basically implying, hey, it either landed safely at the Diego Air Base and the guy, Philip Wood, was kidnapped. Um, and, you know, there's there's also issues with the, uh, the reverse image search there. We don't know, in fact, if it's true. What if that guy uh, has a whole different story and he was kidnapped from a whole different um, uh, thing? So we don't know if it's actually from the airplane, if it was forced to land or anything. But before even that, it is very tough to say. It is very tough to say. This feels like, oh, the answer should be clear. We are now in 2023. And we can't locate uh, MH370, but I know I have watched uh, documentaries where they have said they've located some wings and parts, but it's never the full thing. We haven't found any bodies. I think, as this, he said, we'll never know the truth. It's just the unfortunateness uh of uh, MH370. We'll never know, but we can speculate. Conspiracy Theories Part 2. This one's really creepy. Alright guys, so you guys know how everyone said the world was going to end in 2012? What if it actually did and we're just all living in hell? Because I feel like everything in our world has just gotten progressively worse since then. Just something to think about. Uh, dude, 2012 for me, I was, I was far... Um different than 2023 i prefer 2023 teddy over 2012 20, teddy 2012 teddy small naive didn't know too much thought he was gonna do so much 2023 teddy a little bit more experienced uh but no i don't feel like i'm in the hell i enjoy where i live i'm not depressed i'm quite happy so i don't know if i truly believe that we all died in 2012 conspiracy and i've said this in other videos as well Scientists captured a chupacabra and tried to keep it a secret. Just a week ago, an explorer found something the world will never forget. Ronald Tramp was an urban explorer from El Paso, Texas. He had heard about an old CIA research center that was closed down in 1970 and decided to go find it. What he would uncover that day, he'll never forget. The building was deep in the woods, and Ronald spent over an hour walking from his car to the perimeter fence. He quickly hopped the fence and continued towards the ruins of the research center. As he approached the building, he noticed tons of satanic symbols carved into the walls. He ignored them and continued through the front door of the facility. He searched through the first floor of the building until he reached the stairs to the basement. Ronald ventured deeper into the facility, not knowing the sinister truth that awaited him. Suddenly, from behind a door, he heard the noise of massive chains and a growling beast. When he opened the door, a massive chupacabra chained to the wall was staring straight into Ronald's soul. He quickly ran out of the building and didn't stop until he reached his car. He uploaded his GoPro footage just yesterday. If you want to see the footage, press this icon at the bottom, then more, and photos. Bro, bro, get the heck out of here. There is no way. There is no way. This has got to be fake. I don't believe this. You're just trying to get me to click on it. But imagine if the story is real. Imagine. And Chupacabra is actually one of those things where it's in Legends as well. So it's like, dude, there is this. could be, You know, Bigfoot. 
I believe, Yeti, I believe. You know, if it's in old folklore, they wrote about it because it, that idea came from something. It must have, uh, whether it's a different type of animal, there must have been something, right? So, yeah, I, I would hope that there is some credibility to this. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see it on this guy uh, by sharing the video and hitting image or whatever. Scariest conspiracy theories in the world that will seriously change your life. This is a list of the conspiracy theories in the world ranking from the least scary, most normal, commonly known ones, to the darkest of the dark that will ruin your life. Welcome. In this series we're going to be going from the top, most normal ones you probably know, to the most disturbing ones. And the research is probably going to disturb me a lot, so thanks. That said, let's kick off part one, Area 51. But not how you would imagine. So Area 51, we all know it. It's probably the biggest conspiracy theory out there, well, the most well-known one. And the biggest theory about this place is, well, there's aliens living inside, or there was aliens in there. I don't know, but let me know what you think. Ah, this guy right here is Bob Lazar. This guy claims that he was hired to work at Area 51 to reverse engineer alien craft. There's actually a documentary all about him, I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix, you may have seen it. And this guy is a very clever guy, he's, he's not some nobody. Now, first of all, this is his drawing of an alien spacecraft. This is where it gets crazy. We all think this is the main Area 51, don't we? Maybe it is. Or is that what they want us to believe? Now, Bob claims that is not where stuff actually happens. It's located miles away, hidden in the desert. This area called uh, Area S4. If you look into this place, it's hella creepy. And if you actually go to the coordinates, it's basically blurred out, but there's also something crazy, which I'll show you later. This is the area it's located in. There is literally nothing around apart from thousands of miles of just desert. I mean, it's not like some bloke's got his house out there. If you look on Google Earth or photos online, this is what you'll see. A car park which has quite a lot of cars and vehicles in it. Someone did some research into this and it actually looked like army vehicles as well. You can see these two doors or holes into the, basically into the mountain. And Bob claimed this is actually the entrance to the real Area 51 where he worked. Cassette saying that he engineered and reverse engineered the spacecraft. Well, I don't know, what is going on here? Make sure you hit that follow button because this is going to get mental. Part two tomorrow, see you there. You guys already know, the goons know, big Bob Lazar fan, just the fact that uh, this guy, you know, has credible um, knowledge, has found unknown elements, has predicted the findings of unknown elements before they were even uh, found and saying, hey, I did work with this thing, elemental, uh, element 145 or whatever it was. And, and then we ended up finding out, oh, snap, it does exist. And he really did what he said. And then the government tried to hide his entire credibility. You know, they were like um, somehow got his wife involved, his wife separated. It was a whole like craziness that he endured uh, at the cost of what, you know, what? So the government's doing crazy things um, related to uh, reverse engineering aircrafts. And it was something we've always theorized. And he was one of the first guys that helped validate that theory. And when he did validate, the way that the government um, screwed him was they made his life super miserable to live. They wiped out his entire record. You can't even find his PhDs. You can't even um, believe him till much of time later when almost everything he said did become uh, valid. So I thought that was quite interesting. Uh, big Bob Lazar fan, S4, Area S4, completely um, can see Area S4 being where they do the crazier things and Area 51 being like, hey, this is just the grunt work area. So, yeah, makes sense. Different levels of classifications and security are going to get you uh, different access. So, makes sense to me. This is the craziest shit I've seen. So the darkest conspiracies in the world, the Mandela Effect. A theory that suggests that our current reality has somehow been shifted into an alternate universe. Such evidence includes things like the Berenstain Bears being Berenstain Bears, Fruit of the Loom, with and without the Cornucopia. Even the memory of Mandela dying in prison back in the 1980s versus 2013, supposedly created by the CIA as a psyops. Are we really in an alternate reality? Hit the plus sign if you think so. Dude, I 100% believe we're in alternate reality. I have such vivid memories, and I'm not, uh, you know, I want to say um, stupid or, or someone that's suffering memory loss. I remember being at a bookstore. I remember the 
multiple libraries and picking up the Berenstein Bears in my current in that timeline that I was in at that point, and I literally had it spelled B E R E N S T E I N. And I'm not even trying to knock anyone. I know in our current timeline it says Berenstain Bears. I've completely accepted the fact that there is a possibility um, I'm hopping timelines, or maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I smoked that like fun way too hard and I'm misremembering. But I swear to you guys, I swear to you guys that I I strictly do remember Berenstain um, being spelled differently than it is in our current timeline. And I, I maybe I'm one of the lucky guys that hopped in 2012 to our current timeline i survived i survived <laughs> um the other one fruit of the loom i used to think that maybe um fruit of the loom did have the cornucopia and then i i keep like picturing it there as this as if i've seen it um but that one's very tough for me i can picture it with both the cornucopia i feel like it went into a transition where it existed at one point and now it doesn't exist anymore so guess what i ended up digging further it never existed in the first place so every time i told myself i could see it i i, I probably was in another dimension you know i don't know i don't know so and then mandela dying you guys know it's like the jim Gar jim carrey thing uh, some people think Jim Carrey died too, and it's like, no, not these guys didn't die when you think they died. That was the Mandela effect, or did you hop timelines? All right, guys, let's do one more. Part 15 of the rapid fire list of weird and scary shit that I've seen on TikTok. Cannot believe that this is the 15th part. And as always, do your own research. Just because I say it's true doesn't mean it is. Anyway, so a strange metal ball found on a beach in Japan. Um, Starbucks glass bottle recall uh, Frappuccinos apparently contain glass uh, There's been bodies found in the Chicago River And Lake Michigan There was another train derailment in Nebraska There's been explosions in Slovenia the Massive industrial building Explosion in Miami area of Florida um, Mormon church found Hiding 32 billion dollars There's a uranium fire Reported at the Y-12 National Security Complex in Oak Ridge Tennessee Uranium exposure Can cause death so, yeah, looking like another Ohio, I guess. Hundreds of dead fish piled up on rocks at Huron Dam in South Dakota. And a plane also went down on the way to Ohio to respond to the explosion. And five environmental workers died. And there's also crows attacking people in flocks. All right, the crows attacking people in flocks is scary because I've been seeing some crow flocks around me and I'm like, dude, where are all these crows coming from? This makes no sense. Um, there was a lot of rapid fire here. And keep in mind, this was in February. We're almost uh, in November here. So many months ahead. It looks like we've survived uh, most of this uh, unfortunate news. Um, train derailments do happen periodically. There has been... An influx or more that has been shown in the media um, and I'm sure she has hit on even more uh, uranium exposure and things which uh, is unfortunate but when it happens I'm glad it's being documented so we can keep track of it uh, and ensure that there's not more exposure happening there so guys that is it if you're into creepy and strange creepy spooky weird literally anything make sure you smoke that like button as well as subscribe you know make join the ganja goons gang we growing strong and i'll catch you guys next time goodbye